Hello, my name is Mark Blocker. In this segment, we're going to cover how to diagnose a bad circuit breaker. Okay, if you've got a circuit breaker that's been tripped or has been tripped before and you've had a problem with resetting it, first things you want to check when resetting the circuit breaker, first you want to make sure you've turned off all the devices on the circuit that the circuit blew, whether it be lamps, plug-in, TV components, computer components, things of that nature. Make sure they're turned off. When you reset the breaker, it should make a definite click when it resets. Listen for that click. If it immediately blows again, it indicates it could have a problem, a short on that circuit, or a defective breaker itself. So what you need to do is isolate whether it's the circuit that's defective or the breaker itself. If you go around and unplug all the devices plugged into that circuit, you can assure none of the devices are malfunctioning themselves and have a short in it. Try resetting the breaker again. If it still resets and then pops immediately, you could still have a problem in the wiring. So a way to diagnose that, and remember your power circuit breaker box is going to be live with electricity so you want to take proper safety precautions, but you want to remove the circuit wire that's connected to whichever circuit breakers the problem's related to. Just disconnect the wire from the circuit breaker, reset the circuit breaker again. If it trips initially without the wire connected, you know you've got a bad circuit breaker. If not, you've possibly got a short in your wiring system. You'll need to check that with a multimeter and verify you have no shorts. If it still blows and you know you have no verified shorts in the wiring system, that's also an indication of a faulty circuit breaker. That's how you diagnose a faulty circuit breaker.